Stratman, and uh, he just arrived just a little bit ago. Um, we've been having some fun, notably last night. We were trying to go out to do a celebratory dinner, and on the way, the McLaren Senate got wrecked. Now, it was neither he or I that wrecked it, but that is all in the past. I'm not emotional about it anymore. It's time to just move on, but we're gonna go over that real quick, do a little reaction. I cringe, I've seen it a few times since then, <laughs> and cringe. It hurts every time you look at it. Does. But honestly, it's amazing when you think about yes. what this car is, how hard it was hit. Like yeah. the carbon monocoque, like the damage is actually a lot less than it could be. I think we need to figure out what the next steps are with this. Um, I'm imagining a wide body. You're going to send a 101. No? No? Yes. Nobody? Yes. <laughs> that would be incredible. You need a wide body car. I know. On air know. ride. Yes. That's exactly what a Senna is meant to do, right? The, you know? The sky's, go flex. The sky's the limit. So it depends on if it's totaled or if, or if the insurance company just wants us to get it fixed. Um, one way or another, though, I would love to keep this in the collection. Is there like an autograph there? <laughs> is somebody sign it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's like a, a quality check thing. Thank you. Well, let's, let's go through some of the other cars. There's a lot of cars that... Uh, that Stratman and I have in common, so... We have, but um, we both have excellent taste. Yes. What did you yes. say? Excellent taste. Yeah, Especially your Bugatti. Like, the craziest thing that we have <laughs> matching specs. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> how, why would the factory allow that to happen? I know, right? right? To have two of the same car. And you don't have a Porsche in the collection. I have a Safari. And I, I just oh, sold that's right. You yeah. sold it. And you had a Safari you sold, too. And it's, you probably sold it for the same reason. Ultimately, you get it, you think you're going to have fun. But, like, at the end of the day, it's not a car that you want to go and drive and... I just didn't enjoy it. I imagined myself rallying it more, but yeah. then just like driving in traffic in that thing didn't make any sense. I don't know, it's a cool car, but. Yes. Yeah, same. And then you sold yours on Bring a Trailer for a lot more than I did. I saw your sell, and I'm like, dude, got like 200 plus. Yeah. And then I put mine on and got 85. Granted, yours was better, <laughs> but. Well, one it, problem with mine is so nice, I didn't want to rally it. Yeah. It was, the details were incredible. In yes. Car. Cool I totally, car. I totally get it. Um, but this is a GT3 S. I mean, that's. Uh, Anything like this in the future for you, probably not. <laughs> if I could get the new 3RS, yes. if any Porsche yes. executives can get me a 3RS, let me know. If that can, thing's crazy. We'll both buy one at MSRP, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, Must be. yeah. We'll do that. Must be. La Ferrari. This uh, thing is so sick. This is. might be the coolest spec. Yeah. In motion, this thing is so sinister. Yep. I love it. McLaren 765 L2, we just talked about. This is a highly modified vehicle. We have a tune that added about 200 horsepower on it. Shoots fire. I uh, saw the flames. Yes. yes. Well done, sir. The Ferrari 488 GTV. Have you looked at the market? I think we're I think we're starting to hit the point where like it's fallen off. Right. But did you take a look and, and make some of your selling decisions when you saw that it was really Oh, peak? 100%. I sold course. my years for that exact reason. Yep. I felt like the market had peaked, and especially there's those certain cars, yep. those kind of like new money cars, if you will. Yep. Urises, Huracons, yep. 720Ss, 488s, all those cars will be the first ones to drop. Cars yes. like the Countach, yep. it doesn't matter. The guys who have those cars, old money, yep. they're not going to desperately sell them. So yeah, yep. that's a lot of the reason I sold some money. That's yeah. why I have this one up for sale. I think I'm on the... I'm on the lower end where I think market has gone down 10, 15 percent. The Euruses have gotten, you mentioned that those got yeah. hit hard. You oh, that big, right. time. big time. The, they were, for a 22 model, 21 model, they were like 315, 320. They're now like 240. So I, I sold mine. I warned you. 290. Yes. But mine was a 19. Yes. That I paid 264. So I felt really good about it. There was, there was a, uh, a vlog that I did like six months ago about, about why I would not buy a super hypercar at that, well, not hypercar, why I wouldn't buy a supercar at that time. And it was exactly because of what happened. Like, I'd rather buy it right now. I'm, I'd actually wait a little bit longer because I think that there's definitely a, a lower floor. You have your clean touch here you in Florida. It is, yes. White on white. I don't have the white wheels though, but I'm going to get them powder coated so we have identical specs. That's amazing. I feel like there could be a vlog made where we just bring all of our light cars that. That would be fun. Although we had the Corvette C8 too. He had the Panam wide body coupe. <laughs> I had the Panam wide body. Same wrap. Yeah, same blue. Same wrap blue. Same blue interior. Everything. Did you do the calipers? The yellow too? Uh, I did those blue. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Very nice. And he, of course, had the Anovio wheels that you can find at fitment.com. Yes, we took care of them. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Again. Thank you. <laughs> Every yeah. time I look at this, it looks better. It does. It I does. can't take my eyes off of it. It does. Incredible taste, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Houston for wrapping this thing. And uh, it does look freaking ridiculous. I'm going to keep this on. And, and, like, if we really could line up or, like, if somehow everything lined up where we could put our light cars together, that would be, like... I will ship my Bayron out here to get those ah. two together, for sure. Like, game over 100%. That sounds happen. freaking awesome. So, bring it to the surprise me because they supported me in my return. Like, they are... 
they are very picky about what they allow on their site and they will not let a car. So it raised my confidence. This is almost like an, an unpaid ad for them where I have a much higher confidence level buying off that site now that I know that they really support what's going up and they have a pretty deep vetting process. Well, there was a, when I sold my safari, there was an application process I had to get approved. And when like the photographer came out, they took all the photos. Yeah. They had to ensure that it was a quality car, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. I sold mine through Chicago Motor Cars, a partner of ours, so they had to deal with all that stuff. But Ford GT. Yes. I don't know what color you respect. Mine was white with blue stripes. Oh, I see that. I should never have sold it. How many options did you have on here? I think I had four option. Oh. Well, yeah. I think I had a four option car because I had the stripe on the wheels. Yes. I had the caliper. Yep. And then the sound system. Yeah, I think I was all four options. There's still that. There's still two options. What did you What did you sell that one at? So I paid two twenty for it, and I sold it for two forty. And but it was it had a Ford. lot of miles. Yeah. One had like thirty five thousand miles on it. And it's a Ford engine, so theoretically these things should run should go forever. forever. I love a Ford GT. And I'm going to buy another one. So good, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But is this one of those where it doesn't go back down because it is that car that I think it keeps going up. I think this car keeps going up for a while. Oh, for right. sure. For sure. <laughs> Uh, Rolls Royce, we had a limo. I did have a limo. You have a limo too. I did have a Rolls limo, but that's a good point. Uh, the Lincoln, I just bought a Lincoln Town Car limo, and then I've also got the Cadillac limo that I hope I get back any day now with the LS swap. Uh, that one I'm, I'm really excited about getting back. This is my brother Joel's uh, GT3 S Y sack. He liked mine so much, he went and bought a twin version of a different color. This color is beautiful. Miami blue, one of my favorite colors. Yes, beautiful, beautiful color. I'm thinking about getting my, my this inspired my Koenigsegg Yesco spec, where I want to get a. Uh, uh, we ended up doing Nala Blue for the Lamborghini, but this is what pushed me into a light and neat blue. So, make it go. GTR! 2,000 horsepower? Yes. Yes, 2,000 horsepower. Mine only has 1,800. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing performs like, like, I can't seem to get it to launch or work right because my, my times just aren't matching Ivan who built this. Um, I don't know. But I'm selling another man. Okay, are you going to, like, what is the future of your GTR? I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's, it's such a crazy car. It feels like a ticking time bomb in a sense. Like, yeah. sometimes it's going to blow up and it's going to be a lot more. And it did blow up already. It already blew up one time, yes. but it is, there's no experience like it. I mean, as far as pure acceleration, yeah. nothing can touch like a built GTR. Maybe like a twin turbo Huracan, but it's an insane experience. I when you yeah. drive it, you just kind of hold on to your life and just sort of <laughs> float down the road. <laughs> it's crazy. I can see that. And you're interested in that. This color, this color is crazy. When you have the carbon fenders, the carbon mirrors, like this spec is amazing. Yeah, we, we went a little heavy on carbon and we knew we weren't going to get our money back. Um, at the time, the market was still strong, so it was an easier decision because we're like, if I want to cancel this, I can get what I want. But now, now these have tanked. Um, however, there are two colors they do, the Verde Mantis and then the Verde Selvins. This is the, it's really, I saw both of them together at a car show and you almost can't tell the difference between really? them. Really? They were so close. I think this has a third purple or something, but uh, this is the Selvins that's a little more rare and I really liked it. Pugani, so you had our Pugani. Oh, I had quite some time with Pugani. <laughs> it's good to see her again now. I wonder if she'll start up. Oh gosh. Unbelievable. That was the craziest experience. Six hours. Uh, the truck driver couldn't speak English. <laughs> but he was he was a hero. I mean he was awesome. But it yes. was it was an experience for sure. I'm glad you got it out. And you know what? Because of what happened, you got me a free battery. So oh, you're welcome. Cool. The, the tech flew out, <laughs> flew out to his house. Yeah, Put the a tech from Pagani Dallas flew to my house and changed the battery. Amazing. Amazing Very customer good. service. Very good. There is a, an upgrade that they did on this, and I don't know if you experienced it, but they did the smart gas upgrade and it kicks it into neutral constantly. I did notice that. Obnoxious. And the Aventador. Um, yeah, that too. But, you're sitting but, in a red light and just revs up. But I think I'd rather the rev because when you're hitting the gas in this, you're like, what, wait, what's what happening? Like, did it shut off? Right. So this one doesn't rev. What, is it? what do you think about this? Like, what do you think about the interior? Honestly, I hate it. That makes it easy to be honest about. It. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Yes. But I mean, I, I get it, like it's very classy and sophisticated, but neither of us I think it's those guys. Yeah, what's the next hyper for you? Oh, for me? Yeah. I know we talked about the I don't. I don't know, I don't know. So the P1 was always in the next car. Yes. You kind of scared me away from the P1 when we yeah. talked last time, yeah. because it's at service right now, and it's a considerable amount of money. Honestly, um, maybe a Chiron. If, yeah. if I sold the Veyron, I might go Chiron, because mm -hmm. the yes. thing about the Bugattis, is everybody knows about the expensive oil changes, yes. but every single year that's all there is. Yeah. Those cars are bulletproof. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. by. Thank you. Uh, so much. I hope to get it, do it again soon. What Sometime. Have your, what have you passed, my guy? Uh, I spilled nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating Taco Bell. I got the nacho bell gra or the nacho bell. We didn't get Taco Bell. We were at the gas station. You went yes. without us. Yes. Yes. Taco Bell? Are you yes. kidding me? Yes. 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 
Anyway, sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching, y'all. And hit that notifications button. Peace!